Hi, I'm Josh Taylor, Product Manager with Cable Express, and it's time for Cable Talk. Today, I'm going to talk about OM3 and OM4 fiber. The demand for higher speeds in the enterprise network is rapidly increasing. This is due to the massive amount of storage that's needed, such as videos like this. That means there needs to be quick access to this large amount of data, and that's done by cabling. And we're going to talk about the OM3 and OM4 fiber cabling today. The OM stands for Optical Multimode. Now, OM3 and OM4 have been around for years, but OM4 was just recently ratified in 2009. The difference between OM3 and OM4 fiber is bandwidth. 2500 megahertz versus 4700 megahertz. What this translates to is longer transmission distances for the OM4 fiber. There are numerous factors at work here in your choice to figure out whether you need OM3 or OM4. But the basis is the cost versus what your distances you're running. In the perfect world, if you had all the money you wanted, you'd just run single mode fiber. It has all the bandwidth you need, so you can go plenty of distance. But it's very, very expensive. And that's why with Vexel technology, Vexel stands for Vertical Cavity Surface Emitting Laser, that brings down the cost and utilizes multi-mode fiber. And OM3, for example, can run 10 gigabit at 300 meters, and OM4 can run 10 gigabit at 550 meters. Now, when we go to 40 gig and 100 gig, OM3 will be able to go 100 meters, but OM4 will be able to go 150 meters. 90% of all data centers have their runs under 100 meters, so it really just comes down to a costing issue right there. Be on the lookout in the future. We're watching very closely. As the demand increases, the costs will come down. So at some point soon, OM4 must, might be the most viable product. However, there are no plans on any of the manufacturer's roadmaps to discontinue the OM3. It's a very viable option for your infrastructure. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. For more information, visit us on cableexpress.com. Respect Layer 1.